Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Riddles with Cassie, a series where we find some of the funniest, the weirdest, and the most savage riddles on the internet. Cassie is actually waiting for me right now, but before we jump into it, guys, I know you see the merch. I know you guys see the End Your Life Woo merch right here. It is so clean. It is so comfortable. I love the way it looks. The colors just pop. If you guys want to get this merch, link to it will be in the description box below. The site is now live. They are limited edition shirts and hoodies. And Your Life Woo merch. He's even squeezing a tomato for Tomato J, guys. So go and support it if you guys like what you see. But we are about to jump into the riddles right now. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Mina was killed in her house. Does that surprise Surprise you, Cassie? No, I killed her. Inspector Raven, what a cool name, found her best friend, Rita. She told him that Mina had two boyfriends, Rick and Jeff. Ooh, nasty girl. Each of them was rich and had a yacht. Oh, she has a type, I see. And Mina couldn't decide which one to marry. <laughs> she asked both of them to come to the dock. <laughs> they both, they both misheard, and that's why they came so fast. <laughs> Where she would tell them her decision. This oh. girl's so extra. And sail away with one of them. Then the inspector questioned Rick and Jeff. I had some problem with my yacht, so I couldn't come to the dock. I wasn't even there. I didn't even love her. I had like three other sugar babies to meet with, and I didn't know that she was dead. I didn't see Mina that day. I called her and offered to meet earlier. But she wanted Rick and me to have a fair chance. Besides, she had already made an appointment with a hairdresser. Inspector Raven quickly guessed who was lying. It's gotta be the second guy. It had to have been. He said too much info. Who is the killer? Yeah, he was so specific with everything. Mm -hmm. So detailed. Yeah, and her Okay, hair I'm going done. with Jeff. I'm going with Jeff too. Mina was going to sail away with one of them. There was no point in having her hair done. <laughs> Okay. Wind and salt water would destroy any hairdo. Is that facts, Cassie? Not if you're on a yacht. Look at this image for seven seconds and then answer the question. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. There's so much seconds. to look at. I'm scared. Look hard. Look nice and hard. Okay. Time's up. What color? Oh, you know, man. Fuck, this. fuck. Fuck this. Look at this picture, Cassie. Uh-huh. Where is the monster? <gasps> Tell oh. me right now. Okay. There's one thing that I don't get. Why is on the girl's hands is one of her like nails long and the other short? Oh, she's the monster. Not a human hand. Not a human hand? Well, he'll figure it out. He's gonna go, <laughs> ow! It was snowing hard that winter. How you Remember hard? that winter? Oh, that I winter where it was snowing hard? Oh, true. One true. day, Paul was patrolling the block. There he saw a woman looking suspicious. Oh. She was carrying two bags full of some stuff. We don't know what it is. It was stuff, though. What do you have in your bags? Oh, it's just some donation stuff. Clothes, shoes, you know. However, gotcha, bitch. Paul detained the girl. Yeah. Why? Because she came in through the window. Jack if she lived there, she'd rather use the door. Eh? The husband was going on a business trip. Before he left, his wife gave him a pen and an envelope. Take these, sweetie, and if you don't write me, I'll find you and I'll cut your balls off. And said to write her a letter as soon as he comes to the hotel. In three days, he wrote, I'm here and I'm fine. Oh, that tongue. <laughs> no wonder she wants him to write. But when she received the letter, she knew he was dead. How? She put poison on the part where he licks the envelope. Uh, maybe he like signed his name weird. What? I feel like I'm right, Cassie. Okay, fine. Answer, she poisoned uh... the blue line on the envelope. Look at that. Why would you lick that if you see that it's green? Cassie. Yeah? It was a really hot summer. You know I can that. Feel summer. it. Yeah. Hot it girl. It's really hot. Woo! <laughs> Forest fire started almost every day. Every single day. All fire brigades of the town worked day and night. Wee 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 wee. Suddenly, a terrible disaster happened at midnight. Criminals set three buildings on fire at the same time. Dang, guys. Why the nice buildings? The schools? The school guard called 911. Ah! But only one fire brigade managed to come. Which fire should they put out first? The Just do like a 360 thing with the host. <laughs> Just, waste Just all try to get water. all of them. <laughs> uh, the hospital, duh. Yeah, the hospital. Because everybody can leave the school and college and then get some care at the hospital. Yeah. If it's anything but the hospital, I'm punching somebody in the face. <laughs> there are lots of patients and staff in the hospital. Mm -hmm. While the school and college are empty at night, except the guards. Yeah, let the guards burn. And they have already left the building. Oh, never mind. Don't let them burn, idiot. The detective was chasing a criminal who ran into a lonely house. Bang, bang, bang. The owner invited the detective to drop by. Did anyone come here? No. Neither did I leave the house. Do you live with your family? No, I'm alone. How many times do I have to tell you that? Thank you. A cigarette? No, 
thanks. I don't smoke. Who is this guy? I have three evidence that you were lying. What are they? One ashtray. Two drinks. He's not alone. Umbrella? Yes. And there's water. With wet. Yes, yes. <laughs> with water. I was like, with wet. There's okay, wet. Ashtray, two wine glasses. Uh -huh. And an umbrella that clearly had water dripping from it. Yes, Cassie! Wet umbrella! We love it wet. Two glasses so we can get tipsy. The cigarette butt! Yeah! Who is Jack? A said, Jack, are you alright? B said, but I'm Jack. This guy's just some dead asshole. <laughs> Okay, B is really, like, interjecting on a situation that he really... Like, this isn't the time to tell yeah. everyone that you're Jack. Yeah, nobody cares that you're Jack. This man <laughs> is, like, seconds away from death. Like, so what if you're Jack? This man is dying. Yeah, I'm gonna say A rightfully owns the name Jack now, just because B is so offensive. Yeah, I'm gonna say that even if you are Jack, this guy A is Jack now. That's Jack. <laughs> it's only Jack that we care about. This guy's a jackass. Does this tattoo on the ankle have any significance? Does that make him a Jack? Does it say not Jack on it? <laughs> Anybody but Jack. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going with A. A chip. He's Jack's clone. Bro. Oh, right. get out of here. Right. Hey, I'm done. I'm done. Get, get me out of here, guys. Mr. Don was a scientist. That means he's dead. He worked in a secret bunker deep in the forest. When Mr. Don became seriously ill, he called his daughter Mary and <gasps> told her his dark secret. What's the dark secret, Daddy? You can trust me. I worked on a powerful gas that can destroy an entire city in a few minutes. I don't want bad people to get their hands on that gas. Mary, destroy the lab right after I die. <laughs> but your legacy! Just dial pro. On the door panel. When Mr. Don died, Mary went to the bunker. So he died right after that? But there were no letters on the panel. It's gotta be colors. Pink, red, orange. Okay, good thing that there's no purple, because then we'd have a real debate there. Of, <laughs> is it pink or purple? So pink, pink, red, or orange, guys. Pink or purple! Pink, pink. Purple! Orange. <laughs> it's purple. Laura's boyfriend, John worked in Antarctica. Once, he had to stay there for three months. When John came back, he was cold. <laughs> he froze his balls off. <laughs> Laura had already, wow. Laura had already found someone else. Oh, it no. It was only three months, and he had to work in a place where nobody can even live. John was mad. He kidnapped oh. Laura and took her to Antarctica. Uh, too far, John, too far. You have to live here alone. At least he gave her a beanie. <laughs> here are some warm clothes, food, and water. Oh, he went the extra mile. If you survive, I'll take you home. If not, that's your problem. You can't take her home. She's gonna report you to the police. I'll let you choose one more item. Think carefully as it will be hard to survive without it. Houseplant, huh. sunglasses, vitamin C, body lotion. That's she can actually question. get the vitamin C from all the fruits and veggies that she got from the guy. Okay. What would she need the sunglasses for? Uh, maybe the sun is like harsh up there. Even though it's really cold, maybe the sun is harsh. But maybe the houseplant for oxygen because like it doesn't seem like there's a lot of vegetation up there. So are we going to high five to houseplant? Yeah. The sun is too strong in Antarctica. She will start to lose vision or even go blind. Oh, oh wait. Oh, this is the answer. The answer was the goggles? Yeah. Sunglasses sun will help strong. her avoid it. Well, why leave the Just bunker? don't go outside, you stupid <laughs> freak. Oh my God, we take a house plan and go blind. We're so dumb. Who in this picture would you say is pregnant? A, bald person with a, a you know, Kind of looks like a pregnant belly. Or B, bearded person with also what seems to be a pregnant belly. I don't know. I mean, it could go either way. Their bellies are about <laughs> I, the same size. I don't want to I don't wanna offend anybody. <laughs> it, it could be I'm not about horrible. to box anyone in. <laughs> but honestly, to me, to me, A looks uh, more pregnant. Like, B looks like he's got like a beer belly. Yeah. Just yeah. like a beer belly and some nice firm boobs. Yeah, like B looks like my history teacher. <laughs> and A looks like a pregnant person. I'm thinking that it's A too. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not B? I, I meant to say why, but I said why not. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's A. Why not? <laughs> no, right. why not? I think it's A because, I don't know, that just looks like a pregnant belly. Yeah, right? Right? What are you, what on, are you trying to imply right? here, Jay? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. We just got to be right, right? <laughs> Come on, please. A. A. Oh, man. What the hell? I oh, didn't see yeah. that. That's an Adam's apple? I mean, apparently, I'm a little insecure now, but that's fine. Fake beard. A pregnant woman. Why would you have a fake beard? I was supposed to judge all of that by one Adam's apple? <laughs> <laughs> what? I know that looked like one line to me. It looked like the, like B looked like dad bod. Yeah. 
<laughs> what? Okay. All right. I mean, Dad that's great. Bun. Gosh. Oh, man. We do not know anything anymore. We don't know anything. We're getting wow, dumber every day. All right. If we don't know anything, we might as well learn something over at your channel. Okay. If we have to. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode of Riddles with Cassie. Like I said earlier in the video, the End Your Life Who merch is now live. Go and get you a hoodie or a t-shirt. The colors, they just pop, guys. Like the red, the blue, the tan. Everything just looks cool. It looks slick. It looks smooth. And it fits just right. So go and get you guys one if you want to support your boy. Or if you just want some new merch because it looks really cool. But if you guys want to see more Riddles with Cassie, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!